At Volum, we have a unique relationship with our clients and work with many types of businesses to help them grow. But don't just take our word for it. We were keen to get their views on working with us, so we commissioned award-winning filmmaker and part-time animal naturalist Lee Hart to talk to a few of them. Turns out his approach is somewhat different than we expected. Matt, tell us, what's going on here at Connex? Well, at Connex, we, uh, we're a light manufacturer of small wiring limbs for the runabout market, uh, buses, motorhomes. Okay, so you're basically making the snakes, yeah? Uh, wiring limbs. Wiring loom. So we make this wiring loom. So they're not, or a snake, they're not called snakes. They're not a snake. Okay, not so it's a snake. wiring loom that you say you wiring stick loom. in your buses, your, yep. your, your pleasure boats, that kind yes. of stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You know, normally you'd have a marine electrician or an yep. auto electrician yep. takes that away and we just give a whole plug and play system. Okay. <sighs> Matt, I want to pick you up on something volume. Now, volume. how does that relationship work? It's a great relationship that we've got with volume. Volum came in and looked at the whole way we do business. I thought we were in the business of making wiring limbs. We're not. We're in the business of... Just makes? Uh, wiring limbs. Yeah, well, you just, just said you weren't in the business of making wiring limbs. Over there you said you were No, yeah, well, we're not really. We're in the business of providing solutions. Through your wiring limbs? Through, through, through the snakes. wiring limbs. Yeah, yeah the, the snakes. Yeah, your snakes. Yeah, an integral part of the business where, uh, you know, just to have that outside perspective, you know, because you get so immersed in your own business in the day to day, and you know, I thought marketing was about advertising. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's about. It's about how the business is perceived mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was very beneficial. So, so this relationship with Volume, you can see it being beneficial in the future as well. Absolutely, I can see we're having a long, long, long relationship with Volume. Fantastic. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for your time. Hey, Appreciate it. My pleasure. Bye. Thanks, mate. Tim, for the people that aren't as uh, in tune as I am, um, what is World Exchange? What do you do? Uh, World Exchange is a telecommunications company. We provide uh, IP voice services, voice and data services to the New Zealand market. So we're a niche provider in the IP space across residential, small business, and corporate and government markets, really. Um, I want to talk about Volum and your relationship with them. What was the nature of that? We've known Volum, well, pretty much since they started. Um, for us, they are our marketing department. Uh, they do a great job representing us to the market in the right way. And we're not a marketing business, we're telco people. They can do that stuff for us really effectively. Look, Tim, I'm just interrupt you. This is not really working for me at the moment. Brent, Brent this is not that comfortable for me. Is this how you uh, normally do it? Well, sorry, yeah, yeah. if you want to yeah. just swap, yeah. we wouldn't normally. I mean, it's a bit weird. Well, you, you said in that here? one, yeah, that'd be more like it. Just a bit more orthodox. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's worse actually, that's, that's no good either. That's not that's bloody, no. Um, if you swap back. Okay. Do you want me to turn right, around a bit? Oh, you're there, you're, you're right there. That's, okay. that's better. So Tim, what I'm hearing, the relationship with Volum is quite, quite a personal one. Yeah, it is. You know, they're really they're, they're part of the family rather than uh, being, being a client or a supplier relationship. So uh, we have to share a whole lot of information with them and we have to rely on them to do the right things for us. And, and they do that fantastically. Mm -hmm. Look, no, look, I'm, I'm, I'm really not comfortable with this either. No. It just doesn't feel right. Right really? if I was given a massage or something, but I'm not okay. Really? Um, so if we could maybe just try another system. If you've got any other ideas, we could maybe um, try them, okay? Yeah, just swap, swap it right around, you know? Right. Cheers as well. Yeah, it's, yeah sorry Tim, it's, it's not your fault. Just... Yeah, so I'll flip that yeah. okay. like that. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Tim. That's all we've got time for, and I really appreciate your time. Thank you. That thanks was great. Thanks for coming over. Thanks, mate. Victoria, thanks for seeing us on such short notice. I know you're very busy, and uh, great to, to have you here. Um, now, tell us about your business. Specifically, what are you doing in layman's terms? We specialise in putting out commercial office interiors. Okay, so it would be fair to say you're staying away from the residential stuff, purely yeah. focusing on commercial? Just commercial, that's where we found our niche and we specialise just in the commercial. Look, I'll tell you what, it might, might just be easier um, if I come over there, I think. You know, it's just kind of close, it's a lot more personal, I think. It'd just be better if I carry there. I think that would be a really good idea. Just uh, this way it's a lot more intimate, we can, you know... <laughs> I can... Okay, so... You'd be taking an empty shell pretty much and doing everything from the ground up. Yep, right down yeah. to the carpeting. I just think you should say that because I you know, did a bit of interior decorating myself actually a few weeks back at home. It's expensive, especially the carpeting is the most expensive part. You know, yep. a solution I ended up doing was I ended up just getting those, um, those sort of sample 
pieces, you know, of the most expensive stuff, um, getting two bits of those and just strapping them to my feet and just wandering around the house that way. So no matter where I am, I've always got you know, expensive carpeting underneath my feet, especially if we're wearing bare feet. It's a great sort of feel. Right. Um, but that's not the sort of thing you'd be doing, would it? No, not at all. Okay. No. We Grand usually cover thing. the whole floor with the carpet okay. right through. Yep. Okay. I'm going to chuck a name at you. Volum. And how do they kind of fit in? What's their relationship with you guys? It's been um, really great having them as part of the team. Couldn't afford to have a full-time marketing yep. person, a senior marketing person in our business. What was the aim? To grow the business, get the profile up? Is yeah, I really wanted to mostly increase the profile of my business. I felt that we had just become a bit stale in what we did. So. Um, Sorry, you're saying so the, growing the profile of the business was, was the main goal? Yeah, fresh see? new ideas into the business because they're not um, involved in the business every day and getting bogged down. So they bring new things into the office for us to look at and consider. They get to know our team really, really well, which has been important. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You see them as kind of part of your team. I mean, would you, would you have them for sort of Friday office drinks or something, you know? Absolutely, yeah. We don't do that very often, but we would have them at staff drinks, yeah. You know, you're not doing that today, are you? Like, uh, no staff drinks okay. today. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for your time and uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Yep, yeah. yeah, well, certainly not the sort of thing you'd want to wear sort of clubbing, but certainly in the this kind of environment, um, perfectly suited. Now, um, Brett, tell us about Apparel Master. What's it all about? What's actually happening under this roof here? Well, we provide uh, to all of our customers workwear, rental items, mats, tea towels, roller towels. So it's pretty much all under this one roof is where you're, you're washing it and then what you deliver it back to them door to door? Yeah, oh. absolutely. We've got our own vehicles that we deliver direct to the customer, door to door. To door. Well, let's talk about that technology for a moment and check this out. Well, I'll tell you what, Brett, this, that's a machine I don't need any introduction to, that's for sure. The old Keller Geyser 64,400 series. That's right, mate. F 50 kilos a, uh, a drop. 50 kilos a drop, yeah. That's the one. How many wet puppies you run through that on a hot day? I wouldn't know about that. Yeah, okay, well. And that's used a top loader? Right. Powder goes on the top, additional whack on the side there. Yep, that's it mate, that's it. Hey listen, I've got to check on a few things, so I'll leave you with, uh, with Bevan. Okay, yeah, thanks, ready. appreciate it mate. Uh, right, appreciate, mate. appreciate your time. Bevan. Fantastic. Cheers, buddy. Um, Bevan, you're actually the guy I really want to speak to anyway. Yeah. Um, you're the franchise owner. Um, tell me about Volum, um, how they fit in with your company. Well as a group, we decided we needed a marketing plan, and we, uh, and, and Volum caught our eye because they, they market themselves as your virtual marketing team. So, so they would, yeah, okay, so they're basically an integral part of your team. Yep, they become part of the team. Then the boys started working with us and, and we found they're a whole lot more than a marketing company as such. They, uh, they took us through a transitional period, they, uh, they talked to the whole group and got a real good background on where we were at before we even started. So, you know, we sort of thought marketing plan, maybe a sales plan, but they're, they're a whole lot more to us than that. We become really, really part of the team. Okay. Um, how quick is this cycle? Is it like a 45 minute type of thing? Or? Yes, spot on, Lee. 45 okay. minutes. Yeah. Let's yep. take a walk anyway. Okay. Part of the attraction was that they work for us on a retainer. They don't take a cut on the media, so that's built up a real level of trust. We pay them what we pay them, and, and everything else works really well. Okay, just scoot it fine. How volunteerly help you sort of grow the company as such? Yeah, well, look, we're working with quite a tight budget for marketing, and we're answerable to 28 franchises. Okay. So uh, we, we, we need to be really looking carefully at where we spend it and what we spend it on. So Volume have worked, helped us work through that process. Okay. And um, how about moving forward the future growth? Can you see more growth through Volume? Yeah, I can. Look, um, they've done a brilliant job for us so far. I mean, I think we're only just getting started. They're a whole lot more than a marketing department for us and I think there's a, a big future for Apparel Master and Volume. Brilliant, thanks Ben, thanks for your time, it's been um, very educational and uh, quite frankly very cleansing, so thanks mate. Pleasure. Awesome.